Hey guys, it's Jen and I am here to share a little process video with you today for Freckled Fawn. And I am going to be using the March kit and playing around with some photos of a little hike that I took, a little winter hike. And I thought this would be perfect because there's, although this um, kit has a little bit of a travel type theme, there's lots of good exploration and that kind of um, stuff in here and so I'm going to use this kit to help me tell this story today. So I've got three photos and they're kind of a weird combination, a three by four and a four by six horizontal and then a four by, I mean a three by, two three by fours of horizontal and a vertical and then a four by six which is horizontal. And and so I'm going to create sort of a grid and you'll see me do that here. I'm going to use, um, probably use one of these little wood veneer pieces to kind of make it uh, fill the space a little bit more so I can go like this and put my journaling behind here or something like that and so uh, that it's a little bit of an offset grid or I could even line these up here um, and do something like that. I haven't exactly decided but I do know that I want my title to go uh, above here and so we will see how this all comes together. I've also pulled just some pattern papers from my scraps that I want to include as well that'll just make a little um, kind of border here at the top I'm thinking. Uh, we'll see exactly how that goes but that is the plan and I will go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start by trimming down these pattern papers to put at the top of my layout and I'm just going to layer up the three different patterns and because the one paper, I pulled these all from my scraps and the one triangle paper already had a torn edge so I decided I would have them all be torn edges. I'm just using my ruler to help me get kind of a cleaner uh, edge. I want it to be fairly straight and I am going to make it so that the triangle paper is the longest and then I'll have the striped paper be shorter and then the dot paper be a little bit longer than the stripes. And I'm just going to put the the dots and the triangles at the bottom, not all three, because A, that would just feel bulky to me, and B, the stripes match the tone of the wood grain, and so I feel like the wood grain balances the stripes on the bottom. So now I'm playing around with the elements in the kit, trying to decide what I want to include here, and I'm trying to figure out a way to use those epoxy arrows. I'm gonna just kind of lightly place that one down next to my title, and I'm going to think about exactly how I want to do this. Now I thought it would be nice to include a little label somewhere in my title to kind of give me another place to write. And so I'm writing my backyard on this little label and I'm going to stick it so that the P overlaps it in Explore. <laughs> and this is a, an EK Success powder tool and I opened it up and it spilled everywhere. It just has baby powder inside um, and it takes the sticky back off of stickers, but it spilled everywhere. So I had to clean it up. It did smell nice though. Um, so I'm using this little card. This is from uh, an Allie Edwards story kit that I had and it says um, a completely new direction. And I liked that for my, my journaling card. So that's gonna sit behind the adventure wood veneer piece. And also that brings in an element of that kind of bright orangey red that's in the washi tape, which I'll bring in later. So I'm just going down my pieces here and I'm trying to center everything up and I'm gonna go ahead and glue the pieces down on the top. So you can kind of see that there's a little bit of leftover space on the right and left side of the paper strips and I like that. I like that it doesn't go all the way to the edges. It's just a little bit different. So I'm using some Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in a fine line bottle to put my wood veneer piece to I'm just gluing it to that little uh, card there and I'm just going to use my scissors to trim around it. And now I'm going to play around with how I want to lay this all out. So I'm kind of just thinking about what I want to do. I thought about using one of the paper clips at the top and maybe tucking something into it, but it ends up being too much. It's right above the date or the title and it just doesn't look quite right. So I decide against that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and because I know where I want the photos to go, I'm gonna do that first while I'm trying to decide what I want the rest of the page to look like. And so I'm just trying to make it so that it's equally distant from the sides so that you know the whole bottom row is centered. And so I'm using my ruler, which I don't do very often, but I wanna get this straight. When you do a grid layout, it's more important to, to have things straight. And then once I get those two place, pieces placed, I can just eyeball the other two. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my label sticker down 
and then I will glue on my word explore. So with acrylic words like this, I really, really love using the Tombow Multimedia Adhesive for this. It's a really strong adhesive and it, it holds down those acrylic pieces really nicely. So that's my favorite adhesive to use. And then I just buy an empty fine line bottle. You can put whatever adhesive you like in there. So I have that in one of them. And now I'm putting on the washi tape. So I'm just adding another strip basically to the top and bottom. And I just used one strip of washi tape, cut it in half and used part of it at the top and part of it at the bottom. And I'm just using my scissors to trim up the edges. And I like the way that ends up just bringing in another pop of color here. Uh, it would have been fine to just stick with kind of the neutrals and the blues, but I like the pop of red in here. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of those little acrylic uh, circles, and I'm using the one that has the globe on it, and I'm going to have it overlap that wood veneer piece, so I'm just adding some foam to the back so that they rest in the same place, and it says see the world. And so this brings in a little circle. So I decide that I want to bring in some more circles. So I pull my puffy stickers out and I thought that I would bring in some of that orange color, but I decide against it and to just bring in the kind of darker blue to tie in the patterned paper that I have already brought in. So I pulled these vellum word strips from last month's kit and I absolutely love them and they match this layout perfectly. So I'm just pulling a few that kind of relate to the, the layout and I'm going to include a few here and there on the layout. So one above the title, two in that, that right hand cluster, and then I'm going to create another cluster in this space uh, that is this kind of awkward space created um, by my grid of awkwardly sized photos. <laughs> Uh, so I will use those little puffy stickers in those two areas and I'm not going to use one in the top because that already has that dark blue with the title. So here's where I'm deciding to bring in one of those epoxy arrows with each one and so I'll put one, it's kind of pointing to all three of the photos which I like. So there are three little arrows, three little spots of blue and then these are some older puffy stickers from Freckled Fun that I picked up recently. They're sold out now, I believe, but they just are some bright puffy stars and I added some of those into each area. And then I was trying to decide what else I could add in that space, that kind of weird space between the the, the photos there. I found this little, um, this is a, uh, what is it? Like a vinyl, not vinyl. It's like a rubber word and it says perfection. And that's also from Fre Freckled Fawn. And I decide that it might be nice to bring in that red, that pop of red somewhere else. So what I'm going to do to fill in that space is use, I have this large Ellie Studio stamp set. It's called Dated. I love it. I use it all the time. And I'm going to use some poppy ink from Close to My Heart, which matches that color perfectly. And I'm just going to stamp the date and I'm going to stack it so that it fills that space. And I think that ends up working just right. Sorry for my head there. Uh, I didn't stamp it quite right, so I was just trying to stamp it again. It's still not perfect, but I'm okay with it. And as a finishing touch, I'm just adding some staples to the edges of each of those layers to just define them more and give an extra texture. And that's going to complete this one. There are some still photos coming up. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment in the video description. And thank you so much for watching.